Have you ever wondered how quickly Turkey's defense industry has been growing over the past two decades? Imagine industries growing at a pace so fast that they redefine the global landscape. That's precisely what's been happening with Turkey's defense industry. From being a minor player to becoming the 12th biggest arms exporter globally, Turkey's journey in the defense sector has been both fascinating and formidable. Two decades ago, Turkish companies supplied a mere 20% of the army's military equipment. Today, that figure has quadrupled to an impressive 80%. This transformation is largely due to Turkey's strategic decision to indigenize its arms industry. And the results? They are nothing short of remarkable. From rifles to advanced armed drones, Turkey's defense products now have a global reputation. But that's not all. Turkey is on the cusp of producing fighter jets, tanks, and howitzers, promising an even brighter future. So, stay tuned as we dive deeper into the growth of this dynamic industry. Let's start with a glimpse of Turkey's global standing in the defense sector. In the top 100 defense companies list of 2022, compiled annually by the global news website Defense News, three Turkish companies proudly took their place. Aselsan secured the 49th position, Turkish Aerospace Industries, or TAI, was ranked 67th, and Roketsan came in at 86th. Now you might be wondering, that's fewer than the seven companies listed in 2020. True, but here's the interesting part. Despite fewer companies making the top 100 cut, Turkey's arms exports experienced a significant surge within a span of just three years. To put it in perspective, while defense exports were a substantial $2.28 billion in 2020, they soared to an impressive $4.3 billion in 2022. But that's not all. A report on international arms transfers in 2022, prepared by the Sweden-based Sipri Institute, provides further insight into Turkey's growth in this sector. It reveals that Turkey's arms exports increased by a whopping 69% in the four-year period from 2018 to 2022, compared to the previous five-year span from 2013 to 2017. Furthermore, Turkey's global share in arms trade rose from 0.6% to 1.1% during 2018 to 2022. This substantial increase makes the country the 12th biggest arms exporter globally. And there's more good news. Turkey's imports dropped by a substantial 49% when the two periods are compared. So what does all this mean? Well, as the sector grows in uncertain times globally, Turkish defense companies will inevitably see ups and downs in performance. Yet the industry's gradual growth seems almost inevitable. As we can see, Turkey's global presence in the defense industry is becoming increasingly significant. The growth of Turkey's arms exports has been quite remarkable. In recent years, there's been a distinct upward trajectory, which can be attributed to a combination of strategic decisions, technological advancements, and market dynamics. According to a report prepared by the Sweden-based Sipri Institute, Turkey's arms exports increased by a whopping 69% in the four-year period from 2018 to 2022, compared to the preceding five years. This impressive growth has not just been in absolute terms, but also relative to the global arms market. Turkey's global share in arms trade rose from 0.6% to 1.1% in the same period, catapulting the country to the position of the 12th biggest arms exporter globally. It's worth noting that this growth in exports has been accompanied by a significant drop in imports. In fact, imports have dropped by 49% when the two periods were compared. This is a clear indication of the growing self-reliance of the Turkish defense industry, which is successfully leveraging its capabilities to meet the needs of the domestic market while also expanding its footprint in the global marketplace. The top 100 defense companies list 2022. The annual listing by the global news website Defense News has three Turkish companies in the top 100. While Aselsan was 49th on the list, Turkish Aerospace Industries was 67th, and Roketsan was placed 86th. In 2020, the list had seven Turkish companies. Although fewer companies are listed in the top 100 now, Turkey's arms exports grew sharply within three years. While defense exports were $2.28 billion in 2020, they rose to $4.3 billion in 2022. This steady growth indicates a strong and thriving Turkish defense industry. The industry's robust performance despite the broader economic and geopolitical challenges is a testament to its resilience and competitiveness. It also underscores the strategic importance of the defense sector to Turkey's economy and its increasingly prominent role on the global stage.
A major factor behind this growth is the indigenization of the Turkish defense industry. The turning point came in the early 2000s when the Turkish government decided to promote domestic production in the arms industry. This strategic shift was a game-changer, empowering Turkish companies to produce a wide array of military equipment, from rifles and armored vehicles to advanced armed drones, which have earned a global reputation. In 2004, Turkish companies supplied a mere 20% of the army's military equipment. Fast forward to 2022, and that figure has shot up to an impressive 80%. This fourfold increase is a testament to the success of the indigenization strategy. The indigenization process has not been limited to basic military hardware. Turkish companies have been expanding their manufacturing capabilities, producing artillery units, various missile types with ranges of up to 1,000 kilometers, and even propelled light attack jets. One standout product is the portable surface-to-air missile system, or MANPADS. These are not just produced for domestic use, but have also been exported to various countries, further boosting the Turkish defense industry's global standing. A particularly noteworthy development is the production of advanced armed drones. These unmanned aerial vehicles have been instrumental in modern warfare, and their production has significantly elevated Turkey's position in the global arms market. The indigenization strategy has also led to significant advancements in the aviation sector. Turkish Aerospace Industries, or TAI, has made headlines with its production of helicopters and light attack jets. But the story doesn't end here. Turkey stands on the brink of producing fighter jets, tanks, and howitzers, all complex weapon systems that could generate even more revenue for the country's defense industry. According to statements from the producer companies, these advanced weapons will be operational by 2028. The decision to indigenize has indeed led to a significant transformation of the Turkish defense industry. With continued investment and development, there's no telling what the future holds. But one thing is for certain, the Turkish defense industry is on an upward trajectory and it has no intention of slowing down. The future of the Turkish defense industry looks promising. As we step into the future, the Turkish defense sector is on the cusp of making significant strides. One of the key areas of focus is the production of fighter jets, tanks, and howitzers. These prospective projects have the potential to generate substantial revenue and further solidify the nation's standing in the international arms trade. Turkish companies have shown an impressive commitment to their ambitious goals. According to statements from these producer companies, they are gearing up to tackle the challenges of manufacturing complex weaponry. The plan is to have these advanced arms ready for use by the year 2028. Take Turkish Aerospace Industries, TII for example. Earlier this month, they unveiled their most advanced armed drone, Anka-3, along with the light attack and training jet, Herjet. Not stopping there, TAI also showcased its fifth-generation TFX jet, indicating a promising future for the Turkish aviation sector. In parallel with aircraft development, TAI's subsidiary, the engine-producing company TI, is planning to test its 6,000-pounds thrust engine within this year. Simultaneously, work will commence on a 35,000-pounds thrust engine for the TFX, projected to be ready by 2028. Meanwhile, armored vehicle manufacturer BMC is set to deliver two of their Altay tanks to the Turkish army in April and kickstart mass production by 2025. They've found a temporary solution to their engine problem by procuring from South Korea until their own 1500 horsepower engine, Batu, is ready in 2026. Moreover, Turkish missile, ship, drone, vehicle, and military software producers are actively marketing their products, which are now independent of foreign parts. This is a testament to the successful indigenization of the Turkish defense industry. With a backlog of almost $7.6 billion at Aselsan, the largest defense company in Turkey, and Baykar Tech asking customers to wait a few years to receive their drones, it's clear that demand is high and growing. With these ambitious plans, the future of the Turkish defense industry seems bright and promising. Let's take a look at some of the recent developments in the industry. Turkish Aerospace Industries has been making strides with a series of exciting projects. They recently rolled out their most advanced armed drone, the Anka-3, along with the light attack and training jet, the Herjet. Furthermore, they're making progress on their fifth-generation TFX jet, a project that holds great promise for the future. Parallel to these developments, TI's subsidiary, TI, an engine-producing company, is working on a 6,000-pound thrust engine scheduled for testing within this year. 
They're also starting work on a 35,000 pound thrust engine for the TFX, expected to be ready by 2028. Meanwhile, armored vehicle maker BMC is gearing up for the delivery of two Altay tanks to the Turkish army in April. They're set to commence mass production by 2025. These developments are a testament to the industry's determination to keep innovating. Join Intel Prime channel membership today and get access to exclusive benefits, including early access to new videos, exclusive discounts on Intel products, behind the scenes content, live chat with me and other members. Other options will be soon available. Thank you for your support and for helping Intel Prime grow.